friends. Splash and Boots nominated for Children's Album of the Year sixth year in a row. Uh, you must be happy to be nominated a sixth time in a row. It never gets old. No, honestly, we're totally honored to be even nominated with this amazing group of Canadian musicians. It's a celebration. Uh, this year's a bit special because I grew up in London as well, so it's extra that little twist, and it's really fun. We're really excited. And you worked on this album with Alan Doyle. Can you talk about working with him on this record? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a once-in-a-lifetime magical experience. Like, I can't even, it seems like it didn't even happen. He, you know, he picked us up from the airport. We, we recorded in his studio. Uh, we did a lot of co-writing with him. And, yeah, he's just an incredible human, and it was a real honor to be able to do this with him. How was he as a co-writer? Uh, magical. Oh, magical. <laughs> we, we, we went out for dinner the last night we were recording, and we talked about a song. Within that next morning at 8 a.m., we got a voice memo from Alan Doyle going, Guys, I think I got a new song here. And we recorded that song that morning, and then he drove us to the airport. And that's the and last like, song on the album. Happened. It just happened. So fast. The guy doesn't stop thinking. It's incredible. No. Yeah. Loved he, it. I, I think he wrote the song at dinner. I think he did. He, like, <laughs> just dessert. Came out. It was magic. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. When you were making the album, did you have any thought or idea that it might actually be nominated yet again for a Juno? I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I mean we, we, we write, know. we produce an album like almost every year, so we're, we're going to keep creating, and it's always in the back of your mind, obviously, because it's such a celebration, and the parties are amazing, obviously, but you know what, we're going to make another album next year, and we'll just keep going. It's, we've done 12 albums, so, you know, we, we can't stop writing, so we're just going to keep doing that, so the fact that the Junos gets to, you know, celebrate that, it's such a bonus, but we write it for the kids, honestly, we do.